1699. Well, that's crazy. Hidden Mickey. <laughs> Hit the games with the losses. Morning folks, I'm just making myself a little breakfast cheesecakey thing with one of these high protein yogurts. Got some Weedabix, strawberries. I'm just gonna bung it all together, put a little drizzle of low sugar, like Nutella-esque spread on there. Nice way to start the day. Smells yum. Tastes amazing. Really filling. If you fancy like a sweet breakfast that totally fills you up, definitely try something like this. Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. We're in the car and we're just taking a trip to mum and dad's. So my dad is a big burger fan and after we made the smash burgers yesterday and the rolls, we thought we'd take him one to give a go. So we're off. We were having so much fun with mum and dad, I totally forgot to film anything. So we're back in the car on our way home. It was a really nice like afternoon. Uh, mum's just recently had an operation on her hand, so it was nice to see her and see how that's going. Um, she's in quite a bit of pain, but I think we cheered her up. I think so. We did actually, I say we, Aaron, cooked them one of the burgers and they seem to really love them, so that's great. I think that was a success. And yes, we did have takeout, a chicken kebab on a naan bread with salad, and it was delish. Morning folks, just got up and I'm making some breakfast. So I'm making some pancakes today. I'm trying out a new recipe. I'm trying to figure out ways to use up some of my protein powder and get more protein, like using that. And I thought I'd try pancakes. I saw a recipe on TikTok that I've kind of like changed a little bit and I'm giving it a go right now. Hey guys, it is later in the day. Me and the girls are just out and about having a little walk. Sun's out, still a bit nips though, so I've like triple layered and got my giant coat on. But I didn't actually tell you about my pancakes. They were actually really good. Considering it was like my first attempt at this particular recipe, they were banging. Although the pan was a little bit hot when I put the first couple on, so they kind of like burnt a little bit. Don't mind that though, pancakes to pancake. But the second lot that I put on were really good. Tasted amazing, really fluffy. It actually made enough for like two portions. So that was fab. Considering it's like later on in the afternoon, I'm still full. Winning. Have you guys got a particular like pancake style or pancake recipe that you absolutely love? I love an American like style pancake. Put bacon and stuff with them. Oh. Dreamy. Let me know in the comments below which is like your favourite style of pancake. Right, on with the walk. Let's get those steps in.
So we're just now on the way back to the car and I forgot to say about wading. So this week I weighed myself on Sunday and I had put on two pounds. Not great, but no massive surprise. So this week I'm gonna make sure that I get my steps in every day. We're gonna go on a brand new walk tomorrow, which will be great. Just gonna live life, enjoy it and take the gains with the losses. Foot. Yeah. 65 pounds. Right. We're looking at hoses. 30 meters to 100 foot, 18.99, 16.99. Well, that's crazy. I could buy one, and if it lasts half the amount of time, I could throw it away and get another one. We'll do that it seems then. Seems horribly wasteful, but we'll try it. That's coming all the way out here to look for a hose. I got bulbs though. That was the quickest shop in B and Q ever. Went in for a hose. Bought one on Amazon. I bought bulbs <laughs> in a night. <laughs> We've decided we're going to go to an Aldi. We've never shopped at an Aldi before. We know it's just like Lidl's brother, but literally, literally. <laughs> but um, we're going to go do that. So we're just trying to work out where our nearest one is. I think we're actually going to go near the one in Quadley. So we're just kind of working it out on the map, and we're off. That was different. Um, I don't know if it's maybe just that particular one. It was rubbish. It wasn't good. So we got some like bits and bobs, which is fine. It was just very focused on stuff that wasn't food. <laughs> booze. <laughs> loads of booze, loads of booze. There was stuff that was broken, like torn into. There wasn't a lot there. I don't think I'll be back. Let us know in the comments down below in your area if Lidl or Audi is best, if you've tried yeah. both, and also which one you prefer, because I think I much prefer Lidl, certainly around by us. Yeah, I mean the- I don't know if it's just a case of what you get used to, but it seems to me like it's it's way better. But even like the variety of like, cause I don't drink milk. I have like almond milk or I'll have oat milk or something, but there was none of that, like none at all. Not that it was like the shelf was bare. It just wasn't available. Um, like I said though, is it is it a case of know your audience? Yeah. So know, know the, what people come in, what they stock in the shop is based around what people buy. So they mm. may have tried that type of stuff and maybe just the people in this area just aren't interested in that sort of thing. Maybe. But maybe that's why it's full of alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> maybe that says a lot about <laughs> you guys out here. <laughs> yeah. You guys need your booze. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with that done, um, what's next? Are we home now? Uh, I, might, I might go and get a coffee. Okay, coffee time. Love that. I had a caramel frappuccino with almond milk and vegan cream. It was lush. Highly recommend. The next day we went on a long walk deep in the forest. And here's our adventure. Hidden Mickey. Or is it a dino footprint? <laughs> Ever wondered what the bottom of a tree looks like? That's what it looks like. It always amazes me how these big giant things that reach high, high, high into the sky don't fall over when their roots are literally just like less than about a foot or so under the soil. There's all the roots. And one thing I love about this area is all these dead straight trees that look like pillars holding up the sky almost. And then when you move around and you look about, you see the odd one that's just 
not a dead straight pillar, but kind of just a normal looking tree. And they look kind of out of place in here, or almost if they're in prison. The amount of trees that are around it, why did that one fall over? <laughs> Couldn't have been high wind. Maybe it was taller than the rest, I don't know. Look at it. So I've been editing this morning, we've done a tip run, it's been a busy morning and now we're tackling the garden. We're just gonna get it all like spruced up and cleaned, ready for spring. Aaron's just bringing everything out from the barn so then we can clean it under there. He's made a great start. With the two of us, we'll have this done in no time. So I repotted these from there to here. I've taken out something that was dead from there, put in some bulbs and some seeds. I've tidied up all of these. I've had a little trim of me lavender. I know I shouldn't have done it now. I should have done it like September, October, but it was getting unruly. Uh, I've trimmed the corner and our little forest area where we've got like ferns and stuff. So I've tidied them up. These are all like wild strawberries. Got rid of a lot of dead stuff from this lavender. I've tidied up all over there. I'm just gonna put some oh, bulbs in. And we need to tackle this whole bit at some point. I wanna put some stuff here to give it a bit like a color. There's actually a lot to do. So I got some left in this thing. It says it covers up to 25 meters square, but I've had some like success and failure with these. The more you pack into one area, the more successful they tend to be. Fingers crossed it works because the pack looks lush and they're being butterfly friendly. So let's bung them in. So now I've opened the thing. Breeze is uh, being my glamorous assistant. Don't eat the seeds. I'm glad you're wearing them. They're everywhere. Just sprinkle a bit in there. Now it's just a rake, but because this is small, I'm just raking with my hand. Something dead in there. Whoop. Ta-da! Nailed it. So we finished the gardening, we're both really pooped, and I'm just popping to Tesco to get some bits and bobs because we're actually gonna have some more smash burgers, just like the ones we made last week. But we're gonna buy the rolls because we're tired and we don't want to fanny around with that. So, to Tesco I go! Okay, I think I've got everything. It was like a bit of a in and out mad dash. Let's go home and make some tea. I'm hungry. How do you, what's going on today? That is a very good question. And uh, the answer would be, I'm gonna do a bit of cooking. Lou is absolute trooper. She is smashing out some work and she is working so hard at the moment and I'm so super proud of her. I have looked in the fridge and I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet, but I've managed to pull something together that kind of looks a little bit like this. Got some chicken breast. I got a bit of bacon that I cured the other week. We've got a leek fresh from just down the road in Wales. 
we've got some puff pastry fresh from Aldi supermarket and uh, we've got some nice lovely mushrooms we've got some creme fraiche I'm thinking of maybe something like a chicken leek bacon mushroom pie with a puff pastry crust just want to say thank you to mama who sent us some new tea towels because she said the ones that we were using looked old and gross <laughs> so we've got some new ones courtesy of and also, let me show you this bad boy. Also got a new pan because apparently the one that we had before was all horrible and gross. This is a new, uh, well this is a Ninja Foodie. Again, not sponsored, but could be available in our uh, Amazon shop store. By the time this goes out, it might be, it could be. Go and have a look, use that clickety clicky. We got somebody else interested in leaks. <laughs> I think you're more interested in the chicken. On the bottom of these now, they're starting to go the same colour. I think they're about right. They're not quite cooked, which is great, because once I make them into the pie, they'll carry on, to, to carry on cooking. So I'm going to put them aside now and get them with the meat. Get the chicken on the go. Someone's gonna have to stop me from eating all of this bacon, I think, because it is so good. The leeks, they're nice and soft, nice and buttery. Just the mushrooms to go. And we'll pop those in as soon as the chicken's done. Now, just bear in mind that I am completely making this up on the fly and I have no real recipe that I'm going to. So I'm going to try and just show things as I go along. Now, I've noticed in the bottom of this quite a lot of water's come out of the chicken and added to the flavory fond and sauce and stuff that's going on in the bottom. I'm going to cheat it a little bit by adding a little bit of chicken bullion or chicken powder. This is jumbo chicken stock. Probably the same as what you would do if you were popping in like a bit of stock cube or something like that. Just gonna add a little bit. I'm gonna give it a stir. That's why I didn't put the salt in and stuff because I come up with these stupid ideas as I go along, hoping that it's gonna make some, uh, make the difference to the flavor. Now that gravy and that juice in the bottom there is gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna let this chicken cook a little bit longer. I'm gonna try and reduce that gravy down a little bit to give it more intense flavor before we start adding the mushrooms and start making our pie sauce. actually pretty good just as it is because that is just right do with a bit of acidity and maybe a like a herby something green in there so maybe like a parsley or something let's try adding some of that How many of you are out there shouting at me that I've not actually put the gravy in the pie? I'm going to, have to peel this off now. <laughs> Nobody tell Dave.
they even puffed up? Puff, puff. So there you go. That's some strange bung together made up recipe of chicken, bacon, leek and mushroom puff pastry topped pie. I guess we better get somebody down to eat one. Lou! <laughs> Thank you very much for working so hard. I have made you some dinner. Thank you, my love. It looks fab. It smells amazing. It is chicken, leek, bacon and mushroom pie mm. in a creme fraiche type sort of sauce. Okay, cool. Please, just... Can I just get in? Get in I'm there. excited and I'm excited! It's going to be hot than hell. Okay. It's going to be really hot. Oh, that look at that. That's going to need a lot of puff, 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 I think. Mmm, that smells amazing. It's too big. <laughs> <laughs> it's too Let me try again. That's a big mouthful. That's very warm. That is very hot. That chicken's real tender. Lovely, flaky, light top. Oh, it's the gift that just keeps on giving. Mm. Feel free to stubby some oh. beer down. Cheers. Great job. Well done. Thank you. This has oh, made me you. feel so much better. I had a pretty, like, shitty day, not gonna lie. And this is the perfect way to end it. Thank you. You're welcome.